for the first gold medal of these third world championships I was on the mark at 8.30 this morning, the 20 kilometre walk a 39 starters got underway in conditions that uh, would be described as favourable it had been raining here for some time and the humidity levels, although recording high certainly didn't seem to have the effect that they would have had on the previous two or three days here in Tokyo this was always going to be uh, an event between the Soviets and the Italians, particularly Damilano of Italy, who wears the white cap, a familiar white cap, in second place at the moment. LeBlanc of Canada has taken the early lead, uh, wearing 168. Damilano very close to him. Two Soviets there, uh, Shenki Shenikov and Mizula. And that was the pattern of the early stage, and uh, Damilano made a very early assault on the field. He was the man who was defending his title that he won four years ago in Rome. The pace was very, very fast early on. 1.060 is Yevgeny Mizula of the Soviet Union, the 27-year-old, third in the World Cup in 1989. Lots of talent there. 1.074, that's Mikhail Shenikov, also of the Soviet Union. He didn't finish in the European Championships. A couple of laps of the stadium and then out onto the course, a course of uh, 2,600 metres or thereabout, and seven laps approximately. Damilano on the left at the front, heads out into the town, into the city, past the art museum, he'll go past one of the big warm-up areas, past, believe it or not, the rugby stadium and the Jingu baseball stadium. Uh, most of the competitors, including uh, Ian McCombie, uh, the British uh, uh, athlete, uh, suggesting that uh, perhaps the loop system was the very best system of all because it was a better way of judging pace. McCombie, well, his plan was to go off very slowly indeed and then try and make his assault in the second half of the race. He was lying at this stage at the back of the field. The five-kilometre mark and uh, Shenikov, Damilano, Plaza of Spain, Benedictus of Italy, Arena of Italy, Mizula of the Soviet Union, all through in just over 40 minutes. Big bunch. Uh, in the early stages of this uh, race. Well, look at the pace at which the Italian is now breaking out. 2.95 is Daniel Plaza of Spain, 25 years old, 12th in the Olympic final in Seoul in 1988. A grimace on the face of the Italian. He really is some competitor, although, believe it or not, he doesn't feature in the top 10 rankings of this season. Well, when they got to the 15-kilometre mark, there were three men left in. Uh, Shenikov, Damilano and Plaza with Benedictis uh, just six seconds behind. Uh, these three, the Soviet on the left, 1074, uh, Damilano on his right. That's uh, Mikhail Shenikov, sixth in the Olympic final, a best of one hour, 19.07. And uh, quite frankly, this uh, from the very start was going to be a fast race. So it's Soviet Union versus Italy as they approach this uh, Olympic stadium and Damilano. Well, just watch what happens now. Absolute chaos. The sprinters waiting for the 10th heat of the 100 metres look rushed to the side, and athletes coming in had to step over bags. Now, watch now. Shenikov of the Soviet Union thinks that uh, the home straight is the final, and he's going for the uh, Italian, and Shenikov looks as though he's won the gold medal. Watch this. He overtakes Demilano, and then once he gets to the line, a celebration, looks over the shoulder, and Demilano says, well, I'm sorry, but you're wrong, and we've got one more lap. Shenikov latches on, but really, that effort down the home straight, he was spent. And Demilano, the Italian, retained his title. His time, one hour, 19 minutes and 37 seconds, a new championship record. Mikhail Shenikov of the Soviet Union did get his silver, a one hour, 19 minutes and 46 seconds, but my goodness, one lap earlier, how he must have thought that he'd won gold. Well, this fella, Daniel Plaza of Spain, was disqualified for lifting, but he didn't find out until much later. And it was Yevgeny Mizuli of the Soviet Union who finally got the bronze in one hour, 20 minutes and 22 seconds. Ian McCombie of Great Britain, he walked one hour, 25 minutes and 30 seconds, just outside his best for the season, 27th place for him. So let's have a look now at the official result of that... Uh, Walk, Demilano of Italy, retaining his title, the title he won in Rome four years ago, one hour, 19 minutes, 37 seconds, that's a championship record. Uh, Shinikov of the Soviet Union, uh, one hour, 19 minutes, 46 seconds.
and uh, Miss Euler of the Soviet Union. One hour, 20 minutes and 22 seconds he came through, as I said, to take that bronze medal after the disqualification of the Spaniard.